coming to you with uh, a little refreshing tutorial on molds and um, NSK has um, lots of molds um, especially for Easter we have this beautiful uh, multi uh, formed um, Im image mold um, you can uh, when you order in molds they are all food approved so um, but you need to dedicate your mold to um, either crafting or baking so uh, you you cannot reuse the mold you know uh, I mean you can uh, you can use the mold for the food once and then devote it to the crafting uh, otherwise you know the chemicals or not good so anyway um, you can um, do chocolate you can do clay you can do uh, resin and um, you can do uh, the uh, paper mache so mm, I've seen the tutorials uh, mixing up the um, um, you know like paper mache mix um, using just water uh, what's not um, so I will show you I will try to do those you know little um, um, elements uh, with uh, the uh, uh, napkin inserts you know all our napkins that uh, are coming with the two layers of this uh, white tissue okay so I had this scrap and uh, to those of you who are saying the scraps that's what I had in mind <laughs> uh, don't uh, you know don't yell at me that I just send you scraps of uh, tissues for no reason whatsoever <laughs> so I want you to try what I'm doing now okay so uh, get your molds out you can use uh, you know um, any sorts of molds um, I just broke this one open and I want to try this uh, uh, butts so so we're gonna be working with this what um, using just water and torn tissue so basically that's what we're gonna be doing um, let me get uh, started so I'm gonna use this as a tray and I'm just gonna tear you know some white tissue um, you can use your tissue papers you can you know but uh, why would you use a uh, good perfectly good tissue paper that you can wrap your gifts with um, but the napkin uh, the napkin edge you know the uh, two layers they are useless we usually throw them away and I will pop the link below to uh, the uh, uh, tutorials on uh, how else you can use this uh, white two layers of napkins okay so so check the description box below okay so uh, let's let's try it's my first um, try you know so just please bear with me I want to try a couple bunnies um, let's say um, with the tissue with the with a print okay so I will put the printed uh, but you can uh, the good thing about it uh, you can paint them you can spray paint them you can ooh, slow, throw so much glare um, let me um, change the trays right here okay this way um, okay let me put some uh, napkins in the eggs Okay, so what you're gonna be doing? So uh, you you can use the white. You do, use the cheapest one that are you know available. Don't buy you know like fancy napkins and stuff for this. So just you know just tr 
try it out, you know, as is. So I'm placing my, uh, right now, dry feet, guys. So I don't know uh, what we're going to get. So, hey, don't shoot me. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger. Um... And I wanted to try it for a long time, I'm telling you guys, and I never could get around. And now that I'm trying to send the packages out, I um, dare to use this mold as exemplar because I know um, my designer is going to be working with this mold. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be, that should be good. Okay. All right, so we put in, um, you know, napkins here and there. Okay. Let me put more into the uh, butts there. The uh, this mold that was glaring so much. This one is like longer piece that calls for bunny. And I have one more. I'm trying to put like full flower in the uh, butt, you know, because they're like almost like round ones. Um, you know, it's gonna be cool to have like, a, you know, um, covered. You know, but <laughs> covered but um okay so and uh, now um, just using a water I have like a little water here I don't buy it per se. I want my, uh, I want my, um, you know, thing look, be more solid per se, you know. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Mod Podge. Uh, don't forget, you can, after, after it uh, dries out, you can spray paint it. You can uh, paint it, um, and I encourage you to look for all the videos that are below uh, because um, Shannon Green um, tells you exactly what uh, colors you know paints are taken well. This uh, napkins, you know, tissue is taken well, and which ones not. So. Um, yeah, indulge you and educate yourself uh, by watching, you know, someone else's experiences with this. So what I'm basically doing, um, you know, it's almost like when you're working with the Mod Podge um, and you have a little um, cup of water here sitting next to you um, and you're keeping your brush uh, in water, that's what you actually should do when you're working with the glues. And stuff so uh, it wouldn't dry out you need to have like a little bucket so it's even that it's like too much water in there so but it's kind of like uh, you see it's kind of like a milky so that's what I'm going for milky water and I think that will you know give you that you know mud podge you know decoupage type of texture you know so let me move my ashtray here away. I'm gonna put my uh, mold um, in here. So um, I put the napkin of facing the print outside. Um, would be easier to show you in this one, right? I'm like yo-yo. All right, so basically I'm taking water and wetting the layer. Okay, kind of pushing it in the form. Okay, 
Let's try it again. I'm taking a little bit of water. Okay, that's what I'm doing. And um, you know, it's a mindless thing to for you to do. Um, I watched uh, the um, I stumble up on this um, tutorial um, oh gosh my my mind just went blank um, my fairy treasures okay um, so uh, she followed tutorial from Tutu Emmy. Okay, so I will I will pop all the links below. Uh, you uh, can check the ladies out. Absolutely talented uh, crafters. Okay, so uh, now that we're working with this mold, um, let's let's put these layers down too. Okay. I, that's guys um, that's why I'm so slow with my projects for those who wonder why it takes me years sometimes to finish my projects because I uh, my crafting style is monkey see monkey do I just cannot I mean I'm jumping from one thing to another then another and I admire people who shopping in their own room out there for the craft supplies <laughs> um, and finishing them like one two three okay admire um, a fast crafters I cannot do it myself therefore uh, the only thing left for me to admire you guys very slow um in some form perfectionist per se maybe i don't know okay but this first layer i think it's very important to put it down you know right way because that's what you're gonna see on outside let me show you in a second. So push it in there nicely okay so um, that's what you are gonna get okay and uh, why it's important to uh, where's oh here it is because you see on outside That's how it's gonna look. Your bunny butt. From uh, from here, it's like um, just you know, get going. Okay. So you take your um, tissues and you just tap them in.
and uh, this particular mold is uh, thick um, the same goes with the resin and clay you don't have to fill up it all the way uh, you know to the top um, you know these molds were created as for uh, the uh, uh, chocolates candies so you don't want like uh, your candy being you know uh, that you cannot even taste it in the mouth you know or cookies whatever you are gonna bake tiny cookies um, so but working for craft wise you don't have to fill them up all the way with the material uh, when you're working on the uh, leveled surface uh, I'm talking about uh, resin the liquid resin um, you're working on the surface it should be leveled really um, because um, the liquid um, levels itself so you want it to be leveled and I'm usually especially in the thicker 3d molds uh, which I love to use uh, just don't have a lot of time to work with them uh, you really you know you really um, don't need using so much um, material because it's waste I mean um, I sometimes like um, I like um, an escape uh, cake um, molds uh, like uh, heart shape molds and they um, made in the shape of cake like a wedding cake uh, it's a very deep uh, mold and what I do I pour just half way you know it's because it's ridiculous how much resin you're gonna use in there so anyway um, another thing is I'm not sure what exactly uh, people are doing right now I should have googled it before um, the other day I was uh, here I listened to the radio while I was driving and um, uh, they were reporting a shortage of Helmer's glue out on the shelves uh, apparently there is new uh, hot uh, deal where I think they were talking about that uh, play uh, play dough uh, hand uh, home made play dough uh, that parents are making uh, to uh, for their kids to play at home with you know one that stress reliever that you're just rubbing and building the castles so uh, the recipe that is provided uh, online where you can find it um, there is one component that goes into one of the ingredients that goes into that um, um, clay dough and parents don't know about it it has one ingredient inside of the several ingredients uh, like you you use like per se olive oil then you use salt you use I'm, I'm just exaggerating I, I don't know what goes into you use the Helmer's glue and for example in salt one of the ingredients uh, would be uh, causing uh, burns so uh, there are kids who and you don't develop the burn right away the kids are playing with the dough and everything is fine uh, and in the middle of the night your kid has a burn hands okay so be careful with this recipe whatever it is uh, and pass along this information uh, be sh always safety is always priority um, you know we are frugal we are trying to you know uh, to save money and you know to to just you know do it you know the minimalistic way and blah blah but um, 
you see not always working out so be careful out there so basically what you do you are keep filling up these forms with a paper with a tissue paper and uh, then you are gonna need to let them dry completely dry and then we're gonna pop them out and I will see if I will be able to pop them out with this Mod Podge now that I'm thinking maybe maybe not so it's experience okay and I'll be back so I wanted to uh, stop by and show you how I filled up my um, molds uh, and they are drying so here you see uh, some of the bunnies I filled up um, halfway this um, um, eggs Easter eggs I filled up all the way the ducks I filled up kind of halfway and I used all of my um, white tissue from the napkins and uh, these are the um, the bunny butts so I used so I just basically I filled up everything till I have material okay and now it's time for it to dry and I don't know how long it's gonna take um, I think it's gonna take a while but um, be sure to tuck in all your you know uh, things nicely you know especially in the uh, skinny parts like um, you know uh, the duck nose there press it harder um, like in bunny hands you know so it will be more you know um, sharp you know sharper sorry for the noise my honey is watering outside so um, at this point I think they are kind of okay to you know to play with um, I don't know sh if I should take them out of the mold or not I can try because um, actually compacted um, you know that way they're gonna dry out um, better oops here is this dock carefully flip her over cheek duck look how cute so um, I can take them out there is still Sun outside you know um, and I can you know I can just you know get them out and let's see because in a rubber mold, you know, it's going to take a while for them um, to cure. And that way you even can probably press them and level the edge. You know, if you will flatten them a little bit. Pressing on them. Oh, how cute! All right, bunnies are more challenging. Mm. This one bunny did not. Um, this dog is separating. Oops. Sometimes the molds, you know, like if you will pull on them and press them, you know, like like this, 
then sometimes you can shake the form out. Because it's becoming smaller. It's kind of, you see how it's kind of layering. I want to be sure. I mean, if you can wait, please wait for the full dry nurse. But I'm kind of pressed on time. And I'm myself really impatient. Um, So what I'm doing, I'm kind of squashing it and then trying to stretch mold out. To pop. So that's why the um, the um, rubber molds are so good that you can work them. Oh, how adorable! I love it! You better go grab those um, um, molds while you still can, guys. <laughs> You can make your own embellishments without, I mean, how cheap is that? Yo, and the last one. That way they will dry out much faster, for sure. You can sprinkle glitter. I probably should do that. So it just doesn't want to cooperate. All right. And you can trim edges, you know, if you don't like them for some reason. How cute are those? All right, um, now I'm thinking I want to pop one of these guys. This is going to be more challenging, and I think for this mold I'm going to need to wait. I have to say, probably. Should I or shouldn't I? I just wonder the minute, um, you know, that vacuum that uh, what water creates is out so I can put it on something else and put it um, I need to find the breathable material to put them on hold on just a second all right 
Okay, this is where recycling habits come in uh, handy and uh, you can congratulate yourself that you are such a clever girl. <laughs> okay, I, um, I almost wanted to say that I need like a cookie cooling sheet, but I don't want to use it, you know, with the Mud Podge and everything. Uh, the baker and stuff. So this is the wrapping from that uh, tr tray uh, of oranges or clementines and I saved uh, this um, netting um, in order you know to do the masking for mixed media so there is perfect and I can put my um, little animals here all lined up and I can put them out um, on top of the dehumidifier that uh, that sits in my room and that way you know they're gonna have the airflow uh, from um, above and from the bottom goodness how cute all right so let me dig out this um, couple things so that's how they look in the mall is that cute like a bunny butt flower <laughs> so cute I don't know if there is um, easier way to release them but don't forget um, it's the water that creates that, uh, you know, suction. That vacuum. Here it is. Oh my goodness, I love it. Bunny butts. Oh, darling now you can uh, go bananas <laughs> and make whatever you want like uh, buy the flowers you know and it's lightweight guys it's lightweight um, so yeah just um, you can quickly um, spray it his if uh, like NSK has Valium adhesive. I love using it. Um, any spray kind of glue, lightweight. What I like about that uh, Valium um, spray adhesive at NSK because it's for Valium. It's it's uh, val Valium Valium. They that uh, clear see through you know f uh, uh, paper. Um, because uh, when you you know trying to attach uh, balloon to the paper um, you can see through because it's such a thin material usually they like frosty looking you know uh, papers so and that spray created specifically to use for the uh, with the vellum so what I love to do um, let me get all ingredients right now. Hold on just a second. All right, so there. All right, so shake it and just quickly. If only I would clean the nozzle. All right, sorry for a little delay. I had to clean the nozzle because I didn't spray it um, last time. And for this, you need um, remover. So usually, after you use and spray, you need to flip it upside down and spray it out. So now we are ready to roll nothing that we can do so what I'm doing 
just basically that's how you need to finish really to get all this glue out um, and while it's tacky I love using Martha Fine's glitter Let's see nothing what I'm doing because it's so fine. All right, that's it. Usually you would do it on the mat that grabs, okay, everything. But look. So uh, I'm gonna be air dry it or you know dry it on dehumidifier. And, but basically what uh, they are done, I'll, I'll include the pictures after, so get your molds out folks and visit NSK, we have a lot of different variety of molds like Fairy Garden, um, Easter, Toys, Christmas, you name it.